Welcome. In this career guidance video, we are going to talk about transitioning skills roadmap. This is for the members that are moving out of IT support. This means that you're already working in IT, but you're working as an IT support professional and you are looking to move out of this career and you're moving into something more advanced. On daily basis, we get our members contacting us through inquiries. I want to upskill to systems administration, network engineering, cybersecurity, or maybe in future DevOps, and many other advanced roles that are available out after IT support. So this is where we will talk about this whole situation first. So then you have a clarity and the mindset is clear. So let's go ahead and talk about that. Now, before I start, this type of roadmap or training is not recommended for people who are brand new to IT. In that, we recommend our members to finish modern IT support career roadmap. And then you should consider moving forward with more advanced level skills. This is kind of like the prerequisite of what I am going to show now. So now let's talk about it. This is a very, very broad and large topic. So whatever I discuss is going to be based on 10 years of teaching skills, not 10 years plus, which I have more than 10 years plus experience in IT. Now, the reason I made this point is that we are a skills development company. So we, we put our focus research and then how we collect data from people that are growing in this career in different type of environments different type of companies, different type of mindsets. So it's not just coming from one Danish who have spent, let's say, 15 years in one company. And then let's say Danish have passed Necro Plus certification, and then he did some few skills, and then that is the way to go. So usually when you come across something like that, then always think as a member that, okay, this is one individual, his or her experience, and that's his way and roadmap. But there are hundreds of thousands of professionals who have worked in different type of companies, different type of setups. So there are many ways to actually achieve the same goal. So in IT, never think that there's only one way. Even the, the, the method that we are going to show you is just more practical. And yes, we think it's more tested and what our members are using it, but that may not be the one that works for you. Maybe this is not something you like. So you're free to do your more uh, do more research. But you just have to kind of be more fair to yourself that if you're asking this question from a, an expert, then that suggestion is going to come through however they have spent their time in IT. So keep that in mind. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing bad about it. Everything is great. Every every experience that's shared with you is a golden, is a diamond out there. So just take it and then use your own brain to make sure that you are not getting into something like that where it's just specifically designed for somebody that was that had nothing to do with the way your mind works. So just keep that in mind. So as an IT support professional, when you make this decision, I want to transition, I want to advance, I want to move up, immediately we are looking at core skills. Now, even before that, remember, it's going to require a mental readiness. What does that mean? This means that now you need to spend more time into sitting, watching a video, understanding it, and then coming back to your labs and practicing it, right? As an IT support professional, you know we have a lot of flexibilities too. When there's a computer issue, you say that let's fix it by going to Google. So you found a solution. If that doesn't work, then you restart the thing. Maybe that will fix it. If that doesn't work, so what do you do? You just replace the whole image, meaning you go and just get the whole new image and boom. And if that doesn't work, what do you do? You replace the whole computer and you are always protected. But it's not the same case when it comes to working on the advanced positions. In most cases, when you're working with a production application, whether you are a cybersecurity technical person, DevOps, network engineer, systems administrator, cloud administrator, you just can't go and just replace the whole system or that application setup, whatever that is. You just can't replace it immediately in most cases. So what does that tell you? This means that you got to be good at your skill set, meaning you need to understand how to actually properly get into the logs 
have that patience to sit and watch the whole process and then be able to find a solution, right? Now, that is just the one simple example that I gave you that this is no longer an IT support type of world where you can just go and you will have so many ways to get things working at that level. So what does that require then? When you are unable to find something so quickly like IT support, what do you do? You get annoyed, you get scared, you think this is too much, things like that, right? Now that is that has to go. Now you're becoming a mentally ready for that sort of skill set. So you need to learn the core skills before you tackle something more advanced. Now, this is where you have to invest that time, energy, if it requires money, anything that you can do it in your own uh, capabilities, you have to cover the core skills. This means DHCP, DNS, basic networking, IP networking, servers. What is servers? How does it work? Not just by just getting into a server to open Active Directory, actually getting into a server to manage it, troubleshoot it, basic way. I'm not saying to become an expert at this point. This is just a core level skills that you already know how to troubleshoot at the basic level in IT support, but now you're getting into these systems and now you know how to at least initially configure them, a little bit of management, and you're not getting to become a specialist in one specific area because that's not the goal of transitioning skills at this point. So what is the goal? The goal is to learn the networking. And basically, we added this Network Plus right here, not for you to go and pass Network Plus certification because that's not our goal right here. Even though in our trainings, yes, we are going to give you the content because everything that we do uh, naturally covers certifications because our content is way bigger than normal certifications. So it's naturally covering that. So that's why I put Network Plus because it's a non-specific type of certification where it's not specifically focusing on Cisco, right? Not specifically focusing on Microsoft. And it's just a normal vendor neutral certificate where you are going to touch many different things. And that is why you need that in the beginning. And with that, you need to also learn some of the job skills, because like I said, from previous roles or any roles in IT, market is not about you just getting one paper and then you're going to get that job or that role at any level, IT support level, nothing is like that. So when you go to job description, everything is a mixed match. So somebody have to be involved in these type of um, you know, skill sets. And that's what we are. Maybe other uh, training companies are out there too. When they collectively go and search about job description and see what's going on in the market. So maybe if we add XYZ skills, at least you are going to go out there and people will respect it, accept you, and then they will teach you their own things in the company. No one can teach you 100%. No one. So everybody will be pushing towards 40, 50, 60%. And that's what we are doing. So you are going to learn that basics of DHCP, DNS, IP networking, troubleshooting, load balancing, everything at the very basic level in just study-wise, that would be Network Plus, depending on who's teaching it, how are they attaching their labs and their skills into this type of certification. And then most importantly, the last one is guidance. Now, the reason I mentioned guidance is that from our past experience and the way we learn advanced technologies, there is going to be a point where you just feel stuck. Even if you go to Google, ChatGPT, yes, if you're good at finding solutions, you may get away with it. But as you can see, I'm showing you an example where our coaching pro member that's taking IT administration program and they're doing self-study, but at the same time, they got stuck. So what happens then? They are looking for explanation. Engineer came in, gave the video and more explanation back and forth, back and forth, back and forth till he got the point and he's like, oh, I got it. Thank you so much. Now everything is working fine. That is pure labor. Somebody's sitting with a lot of experience at your service. So you got an issue, they respond to you. And this is what we call guidance then. So however you get that guidance from your friend, whatever you have, whatever resources you want to use, that is going to be your goal because you do want to get this sort of things added to learning more advanced skills. Like I said, you can do everything in IT. You just can't do it the, the more harder way, meaning you're going to get it, but through the hard route, through a lot of stress, or you can do it the proper way where somebody have already detected this problem and they're giving you the solution. So what's going to be required? This is where, because it's labor, money is going to be required. Whether it's a lot, whether it's small, that's your choice too. Do a little research and find out what's feasible for you. 
But that's my recommendation. Definitely go with the guidance. So once you cover the core skills, the basic networking, and a little bit of that real job skills related skills as well, then this is where you are unlocking the keys to many advanced roles that are out in the market right now. Now, you must be wondering, if I finish all that core skills and training that you're mentioning, am I going to be able to go for every other role? Because these are pretty big roles. How is that possible? Not at all. You're not going to go and apply to cloud administration. You're not going to go and apply to DevOps roles. You're not going to apply to these three roles on the bottom. What you are going to be capable is to basically apply to junior networking role, which I have, once you start doing these courses, there's a bunch of videos and detailed explanation on what type of roles you need to be targeting. This is a misconception. When somebody say IT administrator, all of a sudden they start talking about DevOps and they mix match many different things, hybrid positions. Like I said, it's a whole new world out there. And you really need to understand when you finish those type of skill set, what type of roles can you apply? Even at the admin level, you can still move out of the IT support to more junior network admin, knock level positions, junior sysadmin positions. So this type of education that you're going to finish and invest that time in that sort of self-paced membership or taking a coaching program with us, you're going to be capable to actually go out and apply to the basic admin level roles that we think um, is really easy to get for the people who have finished this program. Because that's where it, it enables you fully to go after these positions. Of course, you need to uh, add here and there things based on your area, your specific uh, requirements in your area. You may do that. But in most cases, this is the, the information or the skills and the labs that you are going to cover is like a key. And that start opening the door fully halfway through or a little bit. So this is kind of like, I would say 60 to 70% because you still have to do your own market research after that. This one, the same way. This is going to be less than that, very less than that. This is going to be even more less than that because the skill set is not going to be covered. But this opens the door, meaning if you come to the cloud administration, you still need to know about networking, even at the cloud level at the DevOps level, at the cybersecurity, if you want to become a technical cybersecurity, how can you do cybersecurity these days in a corporate company when they're using Active Directory, when their uh, their uh, networks are connected heavily through networks? How can you do that? So think these are the questions you should be asking yourself. But if you know it, then you know it, and that's where you're not going back to fundamentals again and again. Because a lot of time, the normal concept to for people to you know, however they want to sell the program or they want to get you in or whatever. Zero to cybersecurity, okay? No fundamentals of networking. Don't worry about it. We will give you some material. You will take care of that. Don't worry. You just take that stress at work. Or in other ways, they're saying, that's your stress. That's not my job. Well, they're right. That's the business. If they can make you become a cybersecurity like that, well, in their mission, they have accomplished it. They, they did got you. Maybe you got the job and everything. But... If you worry about your health and you uh, basically have not covered the, the basics and the core skills and everything like that, then that person is also not telling you that this is going to have a lot of stress, but they don't care, right? I mean, reality works like that. Why should they care? They want to sell you something that they're good at. They did, a, did that, delivered it. That's your own stress. But in JSS, we don't think like that. In JSS, we believe our members are our core fuel that that kind of fuel this kind of trainings and that's why we've spent so much time in a deep level training understanding not just about technology and just you working as a tech but to live your life better and with that better life stress is a big deal for us so if you are gonna miss and jump in and just go and use these shortcuts get experience from people five, six years, and then they give you fake resumes, fake references, and get you into these DevOps roles and cybersecurity and big roles, then yes, you will enjoy a few months, but then the rest six, five, six, seven months or one year is going to be very tough for a lot of people. We have seen people actually coming to us, giving up on IT overall because somebody placed them in a networking role that they have never touched networking and somehow they got it because of the whole uh, flow, they have made it so perfect that they got the jobs. So the question is in your code that you, can you take that stress when you say, when they say zero to hero and then go with that and give it a try and see if you can do it. If you can do it, then great job. You can actually handle that sort of things. 
if you can't and you are a normal 95% of the people who, who comes to us and they say i am lacking fundamentals i don't want to lose my job i am i need to do this in the right way how do i do that then this is the proper way so now i have cleared all of that uh you know confused gray areas let's go into a roadmap which you need to now take practical step so in terms of practical learning we offer two solutions to our members one is if you have premium membership you will click on roadmaps and then you can open transitioning skills roadmap click on start and basically this will open this one big course called network and systems administration by the way this course is available to all members but the labs and uh, materials are not available to everyone so let's say you get into this course and you're a premium member you're free to finish this course from a to z and then you will be pretty much ready with the core transitioning skills and that kind of leads you toward that junior network level administrator roles or systems administrator of course after this you can take more windows server focused courses or more cisco routing and switching courses depending where you want to focus more you do have to add those additional projects and skills but by covering all of this course you should be ready to go out and be more confident because that's what people are going to ask you about dscp dns load balancing vpn security a little bit of cloud things like that and it's a mixed match of things that you are going to learn about that and you will download the resume now this is where you can utilize our second service which i said that maybe the guidance is probably the best way for this type of roles and that's if you go to a website click on coaching services and scroll down and then here click on administration coaching program and this is where of course when you come to a program then you are in a part you are a part of a discord that i showed you early on and we give you the access we give you even certification level access where we are going to give you comptia specific certification network plus and then it prepares you for the certification as well it will have exams and things like that and then you will have three engineers or two engineers actually checking your work to make sure that you are covering a lot of that um, material and doing different type of studies and job skills related stuff more practical labs to prepare you for actual roles only certification is not going to be enough for this so this is where if you want that guided approach and guidance then make sure you come up to this page watch the video download the content check the flow then click on apply after application applying to this you are going to get a payment information you will join us and everything will still be self-paced but you are being guided in a nice proper flexible way that you can finish things and still get guidance so these are the two main uh, methods that you can use to acquire this type of skill set both will require extreme amount of hands-on approach because that's what we believe in it's technical things and then once after this you can come back to us and if you feel like you want to go into more specialization of a specific area then then you can talk to us and we will suggest maybe something more maybe something more windows specific roadmaps which is advanced right here it says advanced on the top right here if you want to go to cloud administration let us know we we have solutions for even further than just you transitioning into junior level roles in IT. So that is something, of course, you can come and approach us through email, through numbers, talk to us and see what can be the best route for you in JSS. So thank you. And I hope that you are going to start this to change. If you are looking for change, then this is how you're going to change it practically in JSS. Thank you.